Guy Lewis is with us. Guy, is Trump being treated fairly in this trial? Short answer, uh, Stuart, no. Hmm. No. I, 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 in my experience, to put this in perspective, having tried a lot of high-profile cases, um, that first day, maybe you get one, two, or three jurors that raise their hand and say, hey, I can't be fair in this case. Never have I seen in 40 years of practice 50, more than half the panel raise their hand and say, I can't give the guy a fair trial. Hmm. Terrible. Uh, I want you to listen to Trump speaking after the trial yesterday. Roll that tape, please. We've got a real problem with this judge. We have a real problem with a lot of things having to do with this trial, including the DA. I can't go to my son's graduation or that I can't go to the United States Supreme Court, that I'm not in Georgia or Florida or North Carolina campaigning like I should be. It's perfect for the radical left Democrats. That's exactly what they want. This is about election interference. That's all it's about. Okay, now, does, do those comments violate the judge's gag order? Because the judge wants him to say virtually nothing, and he was just opening his mouth big time right there. It's funny you ask that. I talked to a judge down here in Miami yesterday, and I said, Judge, have you, have you ever, ever entered that kind of gag order on a defendant? He said, no, having done it for a long, long time. Never have. Um, I don't think those comments violate the order. Um, surely the defendant's First Amendment rights still exist, and um, I think he can comment on his perception of the trial and ha how it's proceeding. Real fast, do you think uh, this trial, this uh, case is going to be thrown out on appeal? I think there's a lot of appellate problems. I don't think a verdict, if there is a guilty verdict, is going to last very long in this case. I think it's going to be reversed on appeal. Guy Lewis, thanks for lending us your expertise. We appreciate it, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks, Guy.